Welcome to another Olympiad math video. In this video, we are figuring out whether 100 to the power of 99 or 99 to the power of 100 is the larger number. So our first step is to write out the numbers in fraction form. Now the reason we're doing this is because if this fraction is equal to one, that means these two numbers are equal. Now if the fraction is greater than 1, that means the top number, or 100 to the power of 99, is more than the bottom number. And if the fraction is less than 1, that means the bottom number, 99 over 100, is larger. So the first step in solving this is we need to rewrite this so that it is more manageable. So we're going to go ahead and take out one of the 99's. Now the reason we're doing this is so that we can have two numbers with to the same power right above each other. So now that we have 100 to the power of 99 over 99 to the power of 99 times 99, we can rewrite this again so that we have 100 to the power of 99 over 99 to the power of 99 multiplied by 1 over 99. Now this is important because as we keep moving forward, we will be able to slowly see why this is actually a simple problem to solve. Now the next step is we can agree that 100 over 99 is equal to 1 plus 1 over 99. So if we re rewrite this again, we'll have 1 plus 1 over 99 to the 99th power times 1 over 99. Now this is where memorizing a certain formula or limit is very important. So let's go ahead and write that out. If we have the limit as n approaches infinity, 1 plus 1 over n is equal to 1 over n to the power of n is equal to e. Now if we were to compare our two equations here, we can see that on the left side of our problem, we have 1 plus 1 over 99 to the power of 99. Now since both numbers are 99 where the ends would be, we can apply this limit to our problem. Now, because of that, we can substitute e for the left half of our problem. And we know that e is roughly equal to 2.7. There's more decimals after that if you're interested in memorizing that. Now since that's so, we can say that e times 1 over 99 is then in turn equal to e over 99, which is less than 1, which means 99 over 100 is greater than 100 over 99. The key to this problem was rewriting it out to be more manageable. If you memorize equations like this limit, you'll find yourself in great situations when solving Olympiad math problems. Please stay tuned for more Olympiad math equations, and thank you for watching this video.